Hello, my name is Marianne and welcome to Once a Duckling where I hope to encourage you to get crafty and create some beautiful items for your home. Today we'll be looking at how you can make this fun, colourful caddy for all those warm barbecue weekends we've hopefully got coming up this summer. Sort of with this piece of wood that we still had lying around, it's 23 and a half centimetres by 14 and a half centimetres and roughly four centimetres deep. I used Slick Stick by Dixie Bell just to give it a coat of primer because I didn't want any of the wood grain popping through. Now this is a really good product, it only needed one coat of the primer and I did this in stages, just leaving one side to dry before moving on to the next one. And just give it a generous coat of primer and putting it aside. I did use the hair dryer just to help the drying process along slightly but then did put it to one side to let it completely dry before moving on to painting the other side. So next thing you're going to need are six tins of the same size so get saving, get eating those beans and get saving those tins. Um, I did exactly the same thing, I used the slick stick primer to give all the tins a generous coating of primer before moving on to the painting process. So for the paint I chose to use a B&Q paint, it is actually a furniture paint but it worked really really well and gave a lovely coverage for both the piece of wood and all the tins. It only needed one coat before I took my serviette and started peeling away the top layer. For decoupaging you only need the top layer of the serviette so discard of the others. Measure it out, I'm folding it over, I only want the strip to be roughly the depth of the actual tin. So I'm making a sharp crease and with a knife just gently tearing the tissue apart. Doesn't matter if the edges aren't completely crisp. I chose the back of the tin, there is a slight imperfection on the back and that was my starting point for adding the Mod Podge. I only did a small amount of Mod Podge to begin with, lining up the tissue paper before carefully pressing it on there and stroking out most of the wrinkles. I then did it in stages, carefully adding some more Mod Podge, folding the tissue paper and completing the whole process for that tin. When you get to the back and you get to the meeting point, just snip that off and stick it down with some Mod Podge. I usually use a um, bit of cling film just as a barrier to really stroke out those wrinkles, go around the tin and get rid of any other wrinkles or bubbles that might appear before giving another coat just to protect it. And I did this process for all six of the tins. Once that's all dried, I'm measuring roughly two centimeters from the top and drilling a small hole in each of the tins. I then line them up against a piece of wood where I want them positioned, marking it out and pre-drilling the holes where we're going to be securing them with some small screws. You do this on each of the sides. Take a small set of screws and attach the tins to the piece of wood and just follow that process all the way around. So I'm marking them, pre-drilling the hole and with some screws just attaching all the tins. Next I had some Hessian squares which I got from the range and I'm only going to use half for each of the tins. I'm adding some amount of hot glue to the back of the tin, pressing the square into place and folding over the top. You can use a knife just to tuck in the hessian at the back of the tin. Takes a little bit of readjusting and a bit of tidying up here and there. And if you need to, you can add some more hot glue to secure it into place. As I said, it takes a little bit of patience, but just fold over, take the knife to tuck it in. I'm tidying it up here and there. It does get a little bit unruly, but I really do like the look of the hessian against the floral pattern. 
and again I'm using the same process all the way around adding some hot glue only to the back of the tin tucking it in and filling out all those tins so I then had some hessian blooms I think they're called burlap blooms yep burlap blooms which I also got from the range and I'm using the smaller variety just to add some detail to the front and cover up the front where the burlap is not touching I think it just um, sort of tidies it up a little bit and then I had some small flower embellishments that I'm attaching to the top and you can you can use anything for this you can go sparkly have a couple of jewels on there just have a look to see what you've got in your craft stash I'm pretty sure I also bought these in the range and they go perfectly with the design and I'm just tidying up as I go having hot glue strings and the burlap but I think it's coming together nicely. Sticking with the whole floral theme here as well. And I love the combination of the, the rustic with the floral serviettes. And then last but not least, I had an old handle which came off a drawer of a piece of furniture we no longer used. So I'm marking out where the screws need to go at the top, pre-drilling it before securing it with some small screws to create the handle for your caddy and of course I couldn't resist a little bit of shimmer so I am taking my Annie Sloan warm gold gilding wax and I'm just going around the top of the handle just to add a bit more gold I decided not to paint the handle I kind of liked having it in its original format I just needed to have a little bit more shimmer and shine and that is it, all done. I hope you enjoyed this project guys. For more inspiration, go and check me out at onceaduckling.com.